Hey guys, so check this out. How does it get any more beautiful and magical than a waterfall in Bali? Oh my gosh. And you can actually slide down it if you wish. I don't wish. <laughs> but I did just videotape a gal uh, from Indiana who did it and she, it just looked amazing. And body still says no, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So I wanted to talk about something. I actually shared a link on Facebook um, the other day about, and it was, I can't remember the exact name. Oh, <laughs> there she goes again. And I didn't get that one. I videotaped the other one for her. Um, anyway, and it was about responsible tourism. And it was, of course, Bali, but also um, it had many, many different countries in it. And I just love it because it, it doesn't just say what the problem is in the country, it actually says what to do. And so how I found it was I was looking for uh, the area that we're in Bali right now is tons and tons of dolphins. And I was looking for a tour to go on and every one of them that I had found so far <laughs> just didn't feel yummy. And I was like, what is this? And I started doing a little bit of other kind of research and I found that it's not regulated um, or not regulated well or whatever uh, so it's more like dolphin chasing than touring and it just doesn't work for me and it's not right and it's not wrong it just doesn't work for me so when I came across this web page it was beautiful because it had what to do like what to do in that in in like to be a responsible tourist and it had other things that I wasn't even aware of um, here and then like I say other countries too and it's it's never about making something wrong. That's the important thing. It's recognizing, at least for me, what's going to create the future I desire. I know that me not taking one of those dolphin tours didn't stop the dolphin chasing. I know that. And <laughs> they go again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, and. I can choose what does work for me, which is ethical skippers, people who uh, are aware of what they're creating. We went on a whale watching tour in uh, Mexico years ago, and it was all about education. And it was just, it was just so brilliant. And it was such a gift to be with somebody and his whole team who love, love, love the wal the dolphins, no, whales, uh, and dolphins and all of that and really wanted to educate people more about them. Plus we got to see them and play with them and well, not play with them, but you know, be near them uh, in a way that really did create the future I desire. Cause I don't get that dolphins or whales or any of these things don't want to be admired and adored and, and uh, gifted and received from. I don't get that that's what they're asking for. I get that there's another way than maybe what we're aware of and so I'll put the web page in a link below so you guys can check it out in case you're traveling and in case it's of interest of you. Again, it is in no way wrong to choose what you've chose in the past if you have chose any of those things or if you're going to continue to choose any of those things. They're not wrong. It's just choices. And when you look at what you'd like your future to be like, what would you like it to be like with regards to this stuff? How would you like it to be? Uh, what would you like for, for animals or the earth or other people or places or any of that, what would you like that for you? And what would you like to see? And what can you choose today to create that future? So I hope you enjoyed watching this beautiful waterfall. I am absolutely melting uh, and it's worth every, every melt that I have. So have an awesome week, sweet friends. And I look forward to chatting with you next week.